Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Mona Lisa by Lil Wayne and Kendrick Lamar. So here we go. So I'll give you a preview of what you're going to learn is the instrumental like background music that plays throughout the entire song. It goes like this, give you a preview right now. It's pretty nice. It goes like this. Repeats. Yeah, good try, okay? Anyway, let's get right to it. The melody and chorus for it, and then afterwards you can do all those improvisations like what I did, okay? So it's not difficult at all. The right hand is actually a pattern to it. It's like an arpeggio pattern, okay? It's pretty awesome stuff. Right hand, okay. Uh, the right hand for every single part, okay, there are actually four parts to this, but every single part is the same right hand pattern, okay? So what we have, we start on the high E here, middle C, go up an octave C, go up another octave C, this is the E where we start on. So this is what we have, it's like grouped in four notes each, it goes E, B, E, B, and then the next four uh, notes is a uh, pattern going down the E minor arpeggio, so we just go to the B, G, B, G, the next four notes, Go down another um, position in the uh, arpeggio, G, E, G, E, and then another position, E, B, E, B, like that. Pretty simple, you can see a pattern going on, can you see? So E minor is this chord, right? So what we have, you can see it goes up down the pattern, E, B, E, B, B, G, B, G, G, E, G, E, E, B, E, B, like that, okay? So it's like that, that's the pattern. And what you want to do afterwards, get those four uh, groups of pattern good, then you have to connect them all and make it smooth because it's not just like, it's not four notes and then break, four notes and break, it's like continuous and smooth like this. Like that, that's what you want to get, okay? Nice and smooth for all the notes, the 16 notes. So E, B, E, B, B, G, B, G, G, E, G, E, E, B, E, B. Yeah, so take some time, pause it, to actually practice this particular right hand because this right hand is in every single part, okay? Or every single of the four parts we're gonna learn in today's lesson. Okay, so once you get the right hand there, left hand for the first part is really easy, it's just one chord, it's an E minor, E, G, B. Okay, so that's E minor, that's the first part. So what you do, but you put the chord, the first chord, and the first note on the right hand together. So it's together. And that's it for the first part. Simple, okay? And then the second part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so the same with the E minor chord again. So repeat it. And that is the first two parts already. And then moving on to the third part, the third part left hand changes to a different chord, G major, which is G B D. Okay? So remember G major? And then also the right hand's exactly the same as the other parts, so just together. Like that, and that is the uh, third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out. Now moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand's the same thing, left hand changes now to D major, which is D, F sharp, A. Okay, so with that D major in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so it starts, so together. Like that. Okay, one more time, it goes together. Just like that, and there you have it. Okay, so back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out. Yeah, the main difficulty is actually, uh, you know how he ends up on the B here, every end of the phrase, and you have to jump back up, right up to the E, high E here, so it's like a big jump here, and then you have to do it instantly as well because it's continuous, right? So that's the only thing that you have to practice, the jump between the B and the E here, so just, yeah, play that quite a lot of times, do this, and make sure you get the accuracy here, I just slipped there, so yeah, at the start you might be doing this, like playing all these wrong notes, but don't worry, just do it slowly, build up the speed, and just keep doing that for the consistency of it because you want to be consistent. You don't want to be like, oh, sometimes hit this note and sometimes hit that note, sometimes hit that note. You don't want to be like that. You want to be like, at 
least 90% like that. Yeah, so that's the thing you have to practice because you see. Da -da 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 B, and then you have to jump right back up there with that correct rhythm as well. You don't want to be like. Think, 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 think. That, that breaks the rhythm, so there's no point of doing that, okay? So yeah, you want to practice that, that jump, okay? So, anyways, yeah, so gotta practice a bit of that because even for me, like sometimes I might even like just slip to another note. But yeah. But you want to uh, get up to 80-90% consistency, okay? But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. So after you got the melody and chords for this right, left hand you can start to do other like improvisational patterns like what I did in the previous. So you can do like octave plus arpeggio patterns. Yeah, so you can be like... fun stuff really nice stuff as well okay but anyway that's pretty much it so not that difficult to actually learn it once you break it up into all these patterns like this okay so yeah if you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos similar to this very simple and easy to understand lessons for you to learn on YouTube okay but anyways yeah check it out you most likely can find your favorite song to learn as well on my channel anyway also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise, read, music, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As for now, enjoy time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.